the same. Anyways, am I, I'm on intro today, aren't I? Yeah, go for it. Uh, welcome back, everybody, to episode 39 of Dead Film Society. I'm James. I'm Toby. And today, The Flash, baby. Yeah. The Flash. Flash. The Flash. Toby and I saw it yes, yeah, yesterday. Yep. Um, I kind of forgot to write notes, so we've just been writing notes for the past half an hour. Yep. Um, and yes, we did indeed see it. <laughs> Jeez, that looks a bit odd. No, it doesn't. Oh, we got Xavier as well back up, today. So no, 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 it's up. fine. It's fine. We got, we got Xavier back today. Yeah. Uh, behind the camera. Yeah, three uh, weeks in a row of repping yep. strong. Hugo's gone fishing. Yep, Max again. is sick. Sick ass. You don't say I'm back again. I'm part of this. Is yeah, you're, he's, of the an he's becoming an integral part of the I'm part podcast. Of the yeah. So yeah. you don't say he's back again. It's just a given that I'm here. Yeah. We just yeah. accept it. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, the Flash. Yeah, um, DC's latest uh, <laughs> very interesting venture. Yeah, into the DC world. Yeah, so it's like meant to be the final, like. My final climax of the DC. Well, quickly before we do this, any movies you've watched in the? Yeah, you know, bring up Dante's uh, movie collection. Yeah, I've only seen two of them so far. Um, saw Razorhead, very interesting movie. Um, saw Network, another very interesting movie. You want to give the synopsis? <laughs> Can't be bold. Oh, cool. Um, <laughs> another one. Rewatched Black Klansman. Really yep. good movie. Um, we rewatched It Follows. Really Is that the STD one? STD horror yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> um, I watched All Quiet in the Western Front. Yeah, new one. It's a very long movie. It's very good though. Very good. Um, did you watch it without? You know, you didn't watch it. Um, dubbed? Did you? No, I watched it in uh, German. Okay, good. Yeah, with subtitles. You're a <laughs> loser if you watch it yeah, in English. Yeah, I I hate dubbed. It's so. Yeah, unauthentic and not real. It's totally yeah. not diverse at all. Yeah, agreed. Um, <laughs> I also watched the Banshees of Inner Sharon. Is that the first time you've seen that? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? It's good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Mm. And that came to Disney Plus really quick. Yeah, yeah, I did. Probably paid heaps of money for it. Yeah. Um, I watched Normal People. Normal People. Normal People was really good. Um, <laughs> Wait, you watched the whole show? Yeah, in like two days. Oh. How many episodes are there? Tw- like 13, but then they go for 28 minutes yeah, yeah, each. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Really interesting show. I rewatched American Sniper, and I also rewatched The Art of Self-Defense, which is really good. Cool. Yeah. I haven't watched too many. I, I've Because Toby and I, or more so myself, is on an A24 grind at the moment. Yes, we're about um, to. We're about to. Em- we're, we've embarked on this, this A24 journey. Yeah. And it's strange because... You know, I said this to you the other day. Mm. It's funny how like a uh, actor or a director or a movie itself can have a cult following. Mm. But I feel like A24 is weird because it's like a production company, but it has this massive cult following of, yeah. you know, all these adoring and loving followers. Mm. And, you know, five years ago, not a lot of people would have known what. No one, yeah. You know, what, what it means to be an A24 film. Yeah, oh, we'll bring it up. We'll we'll talk into more depth on it when you know we do the episode, which will probably be in a while because there is 148 films. But and I also did say to you it would be a a, a big flex when you know yeah. you go. I've watched every single A24 film. Yeah. There's probably some. There's definitely some people out there that have done that. The ultimate film. The buff. ultimate film buff. Yeah, exactly. I think, and you were like saying the comparison compared to like no one saying they're a big Paramount fan. Yeah, no one's saying like I love uh, Warner Bros. No, and, oh, it's like oh, you got Warner Disney Bros. fans though. Yeah, but that's like a A20, massive. Call. It's yeah, it's different to have like such a big following for the. I would say compared to the other ones that it's tiny. A twenty four. Oh yeah, like minuscule. It started off indie. Yeah, probably still is indie. Twenty thirteen was yeah. its first movie inside the the mind of Charles von the third with Charlie Sheen and Jason Schwartzman. How fascinating is that? The first movie is about Charlie Sheen. <laughs> it's a weird movie. <laughs> it's really weird. But yeah. because I've been on this grind, I've watched Tusk recently, mm-hmm. which is, it's, it's strange that's movie odd. That is an odd it movie. It is an odd film. It's really disturbing to be honest. Yeah. It's, 
I like I couldn't help myself but pitch it like picture myself in that situation how fucking shit it would be like mm. it's so, it it freaked me out yeah um but last night I also watched the last black man in San Francisco oh yeah with Jonathan Majors with Jonathan Majors oh it's like a really good comfort movie mm. it's very slow but it's like about this guy that has this obsession over a house which he thinks his grandfather built in 1946 or something. It's just about him like squatting in the house and not being able to pay for it and trying to get it. And Jonathan Majors is really good in it as well. He plays this like almost uh, autistic character Mm. that doesn't speak often, but is trying to like write a play and then he brings it out at the end, but it's like fully based off what they see in the movie, like real life. Interesting. Yeah. It's, it's a two hour movie. It's, it's quite long. Yeah. But it's really good. I liked it Mm. a lot. I like it a lot. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, those are the, like the only two movies I've seen yeah. that I've had time to watch. Yeah. But anyway, Flash, what, were you, what, were, you, what were you saying about it before? Um, so The Flash is like the final, if you didn't already know, like the final DCEU <laughs> film. Um, soon they're going to like be resetting the entire universe. With Batman and Batman and like James Gunn's going to be doing everything new. Um, so this is meant to be the climax, the ending of all of it. Mm-hmm. And um, this movie's had a lot of uh, difficulties in like terms of releasing. With um, did it? Yeah, it got had to reshoot the scenes. A lot of it. Oh, on the on the Major note of, on the note of pushing back. Apparently, Spider Man isn't coming out. Don't say that. Twenty twenty six, or twenty twenty five, or twenty twenty five. Wasn't it supposed to be coming out March last next year. year. <laughs> no, next year. Sorry. Fuck. Yeah, that's not a. It hasn't been. <coughs> Confirmed. confirmed by Sony Pictures themselves and the obviously the company, but mm-hmm. I've seen it's going to be delayed until twenty twenty six because it of, makes sense. Yeah, but apparently they had like a f- like the production had a fallout. Apparently, or like a lot people of, um, aren't pulling their weight or something. A lot of they're like overworking a lot of VFX yeah, yeah, artists. Yeah. I mean, fair enough. Like, yeah. if you see if you see what they're doing, I mean, yeah, you would be overworking at times. Mm. But yeah, I think the Flash though. Is one of DC's better movies. DC EU. Yeah. Yeah. Although I did not give it a very good rating. Mm. I think it's one of their better movies. I feel like they went balls to the walls with it. That's what I like to say. In terms of the visuals and storyline. And yeah. it was re- like it was really entertaining. Yeah, it was. Um but I'm pretty sure this is DC's first attempt at the multiverse, is it not? And would I be correct in saying that? I, I believe so, yes. Sort. <laughs> I don't think I can really fact check you on that one. Can you, can you fact can, check me on that? Yeah. <laughs> I think. Remember at like the end of um, Snyder Cut? You've seen Snyder Cut? Mm-hmm. And they're like in that alternate timeline uh, with Joker at the end? In like yeah, but it's not like a... That's a, that is and a that's like almost a credit scene basically. Yeah. But, but it's like a whole movie I'm talking about. Mm. Come on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm hey, pretty, Ryan, I'm pretty Ryan, sure. pull me up a picture of a... Pull me up a picture of what a Pokemon with Down, Down syndrome. syndrome. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's like, what do you? It's it's not an easy thing to find. I can't just, well, of course it's not. But um, I I, I honestly <sighs> think they did a better at in parts than Marvel has done. Yeah, it's like one of the big things I liked about this movie is that I don't know. It just like to quote Harry Styles, it did. It just did feel like a movie. Oh my god, I've, we've done this uh, three weeks in a <laughs> row. <laughs> we've mentioned. A movie. Like, I'm taking it any day over Quantum Mania. Oh, for sure. Thor, Love and Thunder. Taking any of that, those movies. Yeah. Like, it just feels like, even though <laughs> it is a superhero movie. A movie. <laughs> <laughs> a movie. Yeah. Um, it just felt, like, kind of unique. Just this whole storyline. Well, the thing is, as well, I liked how... Like, this is... Obviously, the Flash is not his first, like his first movie, but it's within first standalone, first film. standalone film. Yeah, um, I, I liked how it was an origin story without really being an origin story. Yeah, we already know who the Flash is, and yeah. we don't need that sort of. I mean, it, they did touch on it in terms of. Oh, well, we're doing spoilers, by the way. In yeah. terms of when. Um, <laughs> oh, that's his card full. <sighs> oh fuck! I don't know how long it's been like that. Anyways. Um, continuing on from that, what were we saying? It wasn't an origin story without being an origin. Yeah. It, you know, because... It blended it, like, pretty well. It blended well it well, yeah. 
But it was an origin story, sort of. <laughs> Kinda, with his childhood. Yeah. I mean, for... Actually, oh, yeah, because he does show how he gets yeah. the powers. Yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah, that's what I was about to say. Yeah. When he meets his, uh, like, older, younger self, yeah. he goes back and he's like, this is how I got my powers, blah, 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 this is where I need you to be. Should we describe the plot for someone yeah, who go hasn't on. seen Yeah, go, go, go. Okay, so basically... Um, <laughs> um, Why'd you get all sexual there? Um, mm, so basically... <laughs> Um, <laughs> so basically, um, the Flash, he's just like living life and, um, he just gets really angry because his dad, uh, was accused of killing his mom, mm -hmm. even though he didn't actually do it. And basically he just sprints to the speed of light, I think. No, past the speed of light. Past the speed of light. Because he already can. To the point where he can now travel back in time. Yeah. So he sees this opportunity to do that and he thinks... Why can't I go back in time and save my mum? Because he died. Yeah. And of course, by doing that, it messes up everything because timelines and whatever, if you mess it up, chaos ensues. Well, yeah. I mean, he has a little conversation with uh, Ben Bruce, Affleck's yeah. Bruce Wayne slash Batman at the start saying like, he can, you know, he's man. like, don't do it, don't do it, man. Yeah. Mm, but he does it anyway. And what then a so he gets, uh, he falls out into this timeline. Mm -hmm. Um, and then basically he's like stuck with a like in a, a younger version of himself and a younger version of himself. Mm. He's like eighteen, and uh, basically everything in this universe like is different. Like for example, Batman is a different Batman. Uh, some characters like Aquaman don't exist, and um, it's just about him trying to save the universe from Zod. I think mostly, and that um, is yeah, that is yeah. And um, basically just, yeah. Well, they try to find Superman, but... Yeah, it's a girl. It's in the form of a woman. Yes. And, um, yeah, it's just that it's based, based off the Flashpoint comics, if you've heard of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a really fascinating story. And um, I just think compared to any other Marvel film nowadays, it's just much more uh, original. And, yeah. like, I feel like a good time watching it. Even though the multiverse was heavily... Like it was a yeah. massive part. They kind of made it their own in a way. Yeah. And um, yeah. So do you want to talk about like the performances in the movie? Well, I have a couple more things about it. Oh, yeah. Um, the movie's called Flash, right? I'm on the fence about this. There was a lot of Batman. Mm. But I, I, think I think it didn't overshadow. I think it, it warranted the title of The Flash. Yeah, of course it did. But that's what I'm on the fence about. What? Because there was a lot of Michael Keaton's Batman, a lot of Batman in general. But mm. it didn't overshadow Barry Allen. Yeah. Which was fun. I don't have a problem. I just wanted to bring it up. Mm -hmm. um, with the whole, I mean, wouldn't you, the chemistry between Barry and Barry. Yeah. So let's talk about that. So I think that was the really Can we call it chemistry though? Because yeah, it's can. the same. It's two characters interacting with each other. Um, so <laughs> Barry speaking to, so this is like a, I'm guessing he's in his 20s, the older version much more mature and older version of the younger Barry. And uh, these two, like, speaking to each other works really well. Yeah. It's a really good dynamic because if you've seen Justice League and um, whatever other sidekick, <coughs> Zack Snyder's Justice League as well, mm. um, Barry's a very just sidekick, goofy, annoying character you just have on the side for comic relief. Mm-hmm. So obviously when you have that character as a main character, it could be quite annoying. Or, but also when they have to, when he fight, you know, he's sort of immature in the start, in the first maybe 10, 15 minutes, whatever. He's still goofy. Yeah, he's goofy. But when he has to sort of take care of himself, his younger self in a way, you, you see him step up a little bit. Yes, he does. Um, like he becomes the, he becomes like the adult. Yeah. Especially when he's like telling him off and saying like, this needs to happen. And it's like a yeah. canon event for the Flash. Yeah. And I just thought that worked really well because, yeah. like, it was a really smart idea yeah. and um, made him likable. Mm. And with the chemistry as well, I feel like, you know, if Ezra Miller's been put in the wrong light for quite a quite a while now, which he put it on himself, that's fine. Yeah. But he's a, he's a pretty good actor, I think. He's he's a great actor. Yeah. He, I he's mean, just a he, bit of an idiot, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. It's it's just sad. Yeah. You, know, you want to you want to like him, but then you can't. Because he oh, does all shit. these things and it's like, we dude, called, seriously. We him he. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 they. 
They. They. Sorry. Sorry, Ezra. Um, they have been put in the wrong limelight for a long time, and it's hard to like them. Yes. Because you know. Yeah, um, it's a shame because they're really they they're a really talented actor. Yeah. And You're getting a bit red there, Toby. Yeah. <laughs> it's sunny in here. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. <laughs> um, this okay. This movie was good. Don't get me wrong, but the CGI really fucking let it down. Yeah. Extremely. The CGI was poor. Do you want to mention some CGI scenes he weren't a fan of? Um, okay. For example, when the two barriers were together, mm-hmm. it, it felt like one of them was real, but then they'd I always like keep switching between I which one was CGI and which one wasn't. I thought it was good. I thought the CGI of younger Barry and older Barry was good. No. I like, honestly, the first time I watched it, I didn't even notice. I just like, just, my brain just accepted there's two Barry's. Yeah, but then also when you cut into like the time traveling scene, that was, I think that was pretty creative how they did that. Mm -hmm. You know, the whole looking to where you wanted to go and having to like, I don't know how to explain that. It was like like a tornado sort of thing. Like a Coliseum, some would say. Um, The the CGI for that was really bad. Really? Unless they were trying to do that. Unless they were trying to go for that. That's what I'm talking about. So I think the, like the... I know it's weird. Like it kind of had like a clay. I don't know. The animation just looked. I don't know, like a toy figure or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Toy Story character. Mm. I thought that was interesting. Um, I thought it'd be better. Like if you had like a live action character, like a green screen. I don't think that look as good. Mm. And um, I thought those scenes were very creative. And um, anyone hating on that scene, is dumb. Oh. Um. Yeah. Okay. okay no, I just didn't. Like, okay, here's another example. Mm-hmm. The baby scene. Yes. Where he's saving all the babies. What the fuck? What was that? So at the very beginning of the movie, um, you know, he's trying to get breaking, and then he gets the he gets the call from Alfred saying, you, yep. you got to help babies. us out here, man. you yep. got to help us. And then he ends up saving these babies from the top floor. There's like 10 babies in like this little nursing thing. First of all, why, why, who put like, like so many babies in like the highest floor of a building yeah. in a tower? Yeah. Who decided that? What like what kind of building was it though? It's meant to be a hospital, I guess. Oh, I don't okay. Know. Yeah, that's odd. Put them on the bottom floor at least. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then anyways, so he saves the babies. Yeah. But they fall out from the top of the, the building. Yeah. And oh, it's just weird. It's it's, a, it's such a goofy scene. Oh, and you what you told me when we were walking into it, it's like there's like a goofy scene within like the first ten minutes that's really gonna Grind yeah. your gears And I was like You sure about that And you're like Yeah probably And it, it yeah. did The baby's just Like why Honestly, Is that even Surely like, you could have done Something different Yeah Probably could have done A better idea Than babies falling out of the tower But what it like I can't explain also, What they looked like though So they just looked like Very uh, I don't know Just very CG obviously Like Doll like Yeah They just look very cartoonish I'd say um, mm. Cause like obviously <laughs> You're not gonna get A real life baby well, yeah. Also, another thing. I don't think the babies would survive, like, falling off a tower that high just in the first place, like, in real life. What, because of the air? It's got to be something. Like, like neck damage or something. Like they t- wouldn't, like, perfectly... They wouldn't perfectly be cradled up like this when they're falling. They'd be like... Yeah. Yeah. How, how high was this drop? It's a really high drop. Like, 100 metres. Yeah. I'll, I'll fact check you on that one. Yeah. The baby would survive a 100 metre drop. Yeah. No, but not hitting the ground. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're not the hitting the ground. Like in the air. Yeah. Yeah. Because anyone falling in the air is gonna like wave their arms around a bit. They're not gonna yeah. be like totally curled up. These are like infant babies, like just yeah. born. Yeah. Um yeah. Or a baby gets put in a microwave as well. Yeah, um, that's odd. That was fucking weird. What's up with all the babies in this? No, it's just like, at the very beginning. Yeah, there's like ten babies falling out of a tower building mm. and he has to save them all using the slow mo. <laughs> Um, the, s- the slow mo. What do you well, mean slow mo? Just you know, his power. The, yeah, <laughs> just makes it's everything slow. Slow mo saving scene, like you get in every fast running movie, mm. like in X Men. That was probably the best slow mo, yeah, saving yeah. scene in X Men. Um, yeah, and um, there's also a dog there as well. I don't know why there's a dog. There. Yeah, there's random. Why the fuck was there a dog in the hospital? But didn't it? It's falling out of the building as well. <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't show the dog at the start. It was just yeah, falling. Just, just a random dog. Yeah. Um, but so much random shit was falling, like a vet, a vending machine, 
That sort of makes sense. Like, yeah. Um, like a gas, <laughs> that gas tank, and it was like spitting out flames. Oh yeah, it was a, it was a toilet bowl. Like a oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. No, they wouldn't survive. Because of the fucking force and shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the speed you're moving Exactly, out. exactly. Like the exa- but like, I feel like because they were yeah. moving in slow-mo, but they weren't. They weren't, the same though. Time. Yeah. They yeah. weren't. He was just moving fast, so everything was moving slow to him. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes, I yeah. understand that. Yeah. I never understood how that worked, though. Yeah, so... Like, if you're moving... Yeah, go. So, like, they, even ha- they talk about it in the movie, kind of, when mm. um, he moves his younger self, who doesn't have the powers. He vomits. Vomiting. Yeah. Mm. Like... I think that would happen in real life, I'd but, say. But if I'm like the Flash, for example, and I'm mm-hmm. like traveling there to there, wouldn't my perception of time be really quick as well? Yeah, I guess he just goes, like, does he always go on slow mo? Like, because you yeah, can see yeah. his like thoughts mid run, like him like looking around and stuff. I don't know. Like, it doesn't really make sense to me, to yeah. be honest. It's something I can never really figure out. Because, like, yeah. If he's like running around the world, say, like, Flash does. Mm. Like, is he in slow mo the entire time? Yeah, that would or suck. So, be so boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that yeah. would suck. But talking about like just like the whole slow mo thing, mm-hmm. I'm still trying to get comfortable with the way the Flash runs. Oh my god, it's so. I don't. It just makes me feel uncomfortable a little bit. I know, but you can't really find like an even balance because it would look weird either way. If he was running like super fast mm. and his arms were like, and his legs were just going ham, oh, that I, would still look weird. I thought you were talking about the way like he runs in the movie, like how he runs like his hands, like you know, yeah, like, like really goofy. Oh, when he thinks he has the powers. No, like, just when he's running in general, he just runs really weirdly. Yeah, because his arms go like this, but yeah. then his legs are moving so slow and his arms mm. are moving slow. Um, I did think that first running yeah. scene that was really cool when it's like running across the world to get to the baby scene. Yeah, that was sick. I also liked as well at the very beginning where like they're about to show the title and then it gets interrupted by a girl going like, I love you, Flash, blah, blah, yeah. blah. And he's like, okay, let's get back to business. And then he, the yeah. Flash comes up again. And that was cool. One thing I'll give the movie, I think it was really well directed. Like everything had like ambition. There was lots of really... Uh, there was nothing really felt flat. Yeah, like lots. Of everything had like passion behind it. I'd say mm. the dude's director is um, the director of the movie is Andy Mashudo. Um, <laughs> fact check, <laughs> Mashudi. Oh, <I'll> check. <laughs> fact check that. It's I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, he's a very ambitious director, and I mm. respect it. He um he's directing Batman: The Brave and the Bold. Um, is that an animation? Or? That's a new DC movie, like a live action one. Oh, with it's not called. It's called The Brave and the Bold. It's like who's one of James playing Gunn. Batman? I don't know yet. It's not Robert Pattinson, or would it be? No. No, uh, no it's a different person. No, okay. Um, I don't know, you, you, you said the right person, I just don't know how you say his last name. Do you want to try it? I'll, I can get Google to say it. I'm not fucking attempting that. <laughs> yeah, surely he's got an interview where someone says it or something. Yeah, you, you try to say that name. Mashudo. Mashudi. Mashudi. Andy Muschetti. Muschetti. Muschetti? Like Andy Muschetti. Yeah, probably. You sound pretty confident. Yeah, I'm I'm confident with that. I need to make sure yeah. that's correct. And also, like some really cool, like uh, shot design. Like for example, with Supergirl, you know, when Batman has like his hand like that, and he puts his hand down, it reveals Supergirl. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I yeah. thought that was really cool. I was like, that's nice directing. I, I, I also like I found it weird for Batman to be in that situation. Talk about Batman. Yeah, I, oh, okay, here we go. Yeah. This is the first thing. This is to start it off. Go for it. Michael Keaton, great, as Batman, right? Muschetti. 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 If, yeah. That was the closest. You said machete. You said machete. Yeah. Muschetti. Muschetti. Okay. Muschetti. There you go. Spaghetti. Okay, Michael Keaton was good as Batman, right? Mm-hmm. But I think it could have been more. Like, he had a couple of decades to really, you know, think about what Batman means for him and the character. And whatnot. I feel like he could have discovered more. In terms of what? I mean, he was good in his backstory and how he was trying to say, like, look, the past is what makes us who we are and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Like, the way... I feel like it's the same. You know, he he was the same sort of character as he was in the original. Not the start, though. Oh, he's got a massive beard and long Yeah, hair. well, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the way he moved his body. Like, no way at that age. Like, even in the Dark Knight, for cool, example. It was cool, dude. It was cool. Like, don't get me wrong. Dude, no one wants to see, like, an old man, like, 
not being Okay, out. so what about The Dark Knight Rises then? That's a, Everyone fucking loves that movie, but Bruce Wayne can't fight for shit because he's getting old. Yeah, he does. He beats the shit out of Bane. Yeah, but like that's a, after months of fucking rehab and he's the main finding he's himself. He's the main character of the movie. Like This is just a side character. Everyone wants to see Michael Keaton kick ass. Kick ass? Yeah. Um, I thought his scenes were like so cool. Like when he's just kicking the shit out of dudes. That backwards kick he did was fucking sick. And like, he just like ate shit. I know. Yeah. I do like so your idea, right? Yeah. So that this dude's too old to fight. Really? Yeah. Like that's just gonna be kinda sad, don't you reckon? Yeah, but he 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 gave like, it up. He doesn't do it anymore. Like, like it's it's weird know. that he can just he can just randomly he's pull Batman, it out of his asshole. He's Batman dude. And like it's just the idea of this old man still got it. You know, that type of thing. He's, he's he still, still got, got it. it. He's still, he still got it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't and know. Like, I was kind of iffy about that. Yeah. To be honest. Well, um, all this, I think every single Michael Keaton will just had a big smile on my face. He was funny. Um, him as Bruce Wayne, just his usual self. If you haven't seen the first Batman movie, it's a pretty solid movie. Like, I haven't seen it in ages. Yeah, me neither. Um, Who's the villain in that? Jack Nicholson. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, he's too. And then it's what Danny DeVito, Penguin, yep, Catwoman, Michelle Pfeiffer, Pfeiffer. Yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer, yeah. What? Yeah. yeah anything else you've got? Um, Supergirl. <sighs> I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just not bring that up. I'll bring it. Her, well, her acting, really her good. acting was really good. What do you think about the character? <laughs> the character's good. Like, she, she, if you, it felt like she really sunk into the circumstances of Supergirl. You know. In the emotion behind her finding out that Superman was dead and like had died, and I thought she should have been in the movie more. Yeah, well, she she like was underutilized a little bit. Yeah, I thought they marketed her as like one of the main characters. Yeah, she was all in the trailer as well. She's in it for like a solid 10, 15 minutes, twenty minutes, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, and also Michael Shannon <laughs> Zod, he's barely in the movie, and he's like pretty like underpowered as well. Yeah, sort of. Uh, I don't know. I do like Michael Shannon though. What? You, yeah, Michael Shannon's a good, very good actor. Yeah. My favorite role, Kangaroo Jack. <laughs> He's like the villain in Kangaroo Jack, the protagonist, yeah. the brother. Yeah. Anyway, what did you think about that like creature, which was like a really older version of Barry Allen, in the whole time travel situation? I feel like that was kind of rushed. Yeah. I feel like that could have been good. Mm. If they like delved into it more. I mean, they did at the start, but it was just like him just punching him, him punching out of the. Him. Yeah. Out of the thing. It was really funny though, because like you see the younger version of Barry trying to um, save Supergirl over and over again, yep. and it's clearly not working. And then you get this bloke, this old as fuck bloke that comes in, he goes, I've been trying for years. Yeah. I thought that was hilarious because he just looks so disheveled and yeah, disgusting. And Honestly, I yeah. kind of like believed in. I believe the younger dude that um it, it was it was possible yeah. for Supergirl to survive. Like surely the things like when the Flash is just running around doing anything, surely you can just go straight through them. Yeah, I know. I thought that as well. Even when they punch them, right? Yeah. Even when they punch the Kryptonians, or are they from Krypton? Yeah, yeah they're from. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And like, wouldn't if I'm going that quick? Yeah. Wouldn't my fist go right through your face? Like yeah. even if, yeah, as yeah. you're saying, just run straight through you. Yeah, like a train. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, um, this is like a good question. Would you rather be like have super strength or be able to run really quick? Super. Oh no, um, super speed. Yeah, I guess. Because if you're moving fast enough, then you're getting like enough power and, and like strength, yeah. a ridiculous amount of force behind a punch or something. Yeah. So you may as well have yeah. super strength. Yeah, people go. It's just not possible. You won't be as durable yeah, as someone with super strength, but yeah, you. will probably be as strong yeah. yeah but i feel like if you were super quick you'd have some sort of strength behind you you wouldn't really need durability if you're super quick because you can just get out of the way yeah yeah true i've asked a lot of people that question everyone says super strength i feel like you're the only two that have said super yeah. speed at this point they, they are silly people so they people. don't understand the concept well, when i when i say that concept i'm like if i'm running at you at mm. billions of kilometers a second like the speed of if I'm, the, if if I'm, I'm running at you the speed, speed of, of light, light, yeah, I'm going through you. Yeah, there is yeah. no chance in hell. Yeah, like because the flash would be faster than a train. 
hundred percent. Yeah. And A Train still manages to run directly through Huey's girlfriend mm. and shatter her into a <laughs> billion little pieces. Yeah. So yeah. Um, Speed. I feel like we could have like seen older Barry. Like could have seen his powers more like utilized in terms of fighting and combat. Like he did like a tornado thing like once on the desert. Yeah. And we've learned what I learned what phasing was. Yeah. That phasing. was a new thing. Yeah. How we could just walk cool. through walls and shit. Yeah. But I just yeah. feel like it just I would have just enjoyed more scenes of Barry Allen just kicking ass, just yeah. killing people. I feel like there was just too much intense CGI. What do you mean? Okay. For example, they did rely on a lot. Yeah, exactly. Map. Even when they were phasing, going back to the phasing thing, they went through the wall, and then it cuts to like the atoms going through each other. I'm like, you didn't, right. you didn't really need that though. That like, like we we all know what that means. Like, I know, but that's like I think that's a difference. Say Andy Muschietti, uh, Muschietti, yeah. Muschietti, spaghetti. <laughs> 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 that's got to be racist. That's got to be. I had to say. It. Oh. Do you, want me to f- do you want me to fact check you on if that's Italian? racist or not? Yeah. If he's Italian, it's probably racist. I think he's Argentinian. Really? Yeah. That doesn't sound like an Argentinian name. Um, wow. I'll, I'll fact check you on that one, actually. <sighs> God. Okay. But um, that scene, like, yeah, yeah. a normal boring-ass director would have just, like, had him go through the wall. But this mm. dude went up the mile, zoomed in, went to the atoms inside their bodies. Like that's just gone the extra mile. That's some Sam Raimi type stuff, I think. Oh, it's a bit more than Sam Raimi, I reckon. Well, he does the same thing with the spider cells. Like, remember when he gets his powers? Yeah, but that's warranted, I yeah. think. This is warranted. Because like, it's cool. Well, Sam Raimi's basically so the first, the first Spider Man. So you didn't like that shot? I thought it was just pointless. I thought like we get it. Adam's going through atoms and squeezing like, through so the. It goes from a wide and zooms in all the way into the atoms of the body. I thought that was cool, and then zooms back out as well. That's a cool shot. Yeah. Okay. I'm on the fence still. Yeah. Um, but it just relied heavily on that CGI aspect. Yeah. And it just just made it feel... I mean, it's hard to like say you can't be like, it's not reality. Movie. Like, it's a flash movie. Like, you're going to be CGI heavy. Yeah. I feel like. Well, I was... Like, what I just said is like, <laughs> I can't really say like, you know, doing those shots, it's just not reality. Mm. I mean, neither... None of that movie is reality. Yeah. So you can't go, you know, I just wish they were more realistic with it. Because yeah. you can't, you're not going to get that. I ever. did like see this YouTube video the other day about how uh, different films depict speed, like speed running. Um, it was really interesting. Like the Flash compared to like the Flash TV show compared to like A Train to the yeah, Gilf yeah, Maternals. Yeah. In the way they, I think I know what you mean. So like, yeah, A Train, for example, doesn't have it just, it's just him running. There's like no like lightning yeah. bolts, There's no slow mo. I don't know how I feel. You just get that sound with A Train. Yeah. Like yeah. the train sound. Yeah. But I don't know how I feel about the flash because it's like, like in terms of the lightning bolts and shit. Like it's cool. Don't get me wrong. I like it. But if you were trying to, like, realistically, not realistically, but like strategically, if you were trying to sneak up on someone, I mean, I get it. You're running that fast that you are not going to see it coming. But like, I feel like you will be able to see it coming because there's so much like lightning around. I don't know. It's this. I feel like by the time you've seen it coming, you're already. Gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah but it, gone. I feel like if I had the powers, I wouldn't want anything. Just, it'd be a distraction. Yeah, I think that in, a, in that video, the best depiction they said was um Quicksilver from X Men. Oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. That that's what I'd want to be like. Yeah, because he's got nothing. Like it's just bang. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, that's a good. That's actually a good shout. Yeah. Especially when he's playing. Especially when he stopped playing. Um. Oh, no, when he sw- pl- was playing um, ping pong, table tennis oh, yeah. with himself. Yeah. Well, that the kitchen the scene. Yeah, ki- that's what I was thinking. Yeah. The kitchen scene and the when he saves everyone at the house. Oh, yeah. What's cooler? I think the kitchen scene. You reckon? I um, watched like a behind the scenes of that and the amount of seed, actually both scenes were like mm. really put so much effort into it. The music just lines up so perfectly in the kitchen scene though. It does if I well, could save time well. in a box. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh that one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. What song is better? What was the, what was the song for the kitchen? Um if I could save time oh, in a bottle. So good. What is that? The first right. thing <laughs> that I'd like to do. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the song. How do we get sidetracked so much? Well it's not really sidetracked. Yeah, I guess so. Um <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, you've, um, you've completely yeah, jumped yeah, universe. That, you've yeah, gone from yeah, DC yeah, to Marvel. DC. Yeah, yeah, true. Um, can we talk about the cameos in the movie? Okay, you bring you mentioned. Okay, it. so ones I've written down are Nicholas Cage. Ro- did you say written? Written down. Written. Written down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nicholas Cage is Superman. Yeah. Um, if you didn't know already, mm-hmm. there's like a 2001 Superman movie where Nick Cage was casted, um, but the movie got cancelled. So that was a little uh, reference to that. Fun fact. I was so oh. dumb. Uh, yeah. And he's like, he has long hair. He's like super young. <laughs> this movie CGI was that scene especially kind of reminded me of Ready Player One. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Don't you think? It yeah, it's got similar vibes. That. Yeah. Um, another one was the older Batman and Superman of Adam West and Christopher Reeves. Yes. That was a good shout. Mm-hmm. Um, I did like that. Although, although that was... Yeah. Heavily CGI'd as well. I don't know how I feel about CGIing like dead people, but yeah, kind of disrespectful. I mean, they're both well dead. Yeah, like could just use footage, old footage. I don't know if you had to like but recreate then, them with CG. Yeah, if they kept it the same, it'd be a bit grainy and wouldn't really work. Oh, yeah, I mean, I if know. you're gonna go the whole CGI, you might as well put them CGI. Yep. Yeah. Um, there was in the time travel bit. There was also Henry Cavill as like a that CG. was so shit. That was goofy. That was um, so bad. He like has his shirt off and he's punching the air. But his it just his face didn't look yeah, right. It, it didn't weird. It didn't look good. Yeah. Um. And then at the very end, so it's a spoiler for the end of the movie. So Flash accepts that he can't save his mum, so he puts the tomato back in the. Oh, that I almost cried. Honestly, really? that, yeah. I was really sad. So you mm. almost cried. And you gave the movie two stars. Yeah. Well, it's just like a, it's a touching scene. Yeah. I know, but it contradicts the two-star rating, I think. Um, I mean, but anyways, yeah, so whatever. he's putting the tomatoes back because he accepts that his mum just has to die. It's a canon event. What if I run some of these canon events now? Yeah. And um, at the so he th- goes back to normal, mm. puts the tomato back. He thinks everything's cool. Um, See, so goes down and gets a date with um, the reporter, um, who's you also sure? the girl from um, Snyder Cup. I picked up that. Yes. He saves yeah, 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 yeah. eating the hot dog. Um, yes. 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 Um, he, um, so he calls Bruce. So it's, he saves his father, um, from... He just moves the camera or something? No, he, um, puts the tomatoes in the top drawer. Oh, yeah. So the top shelf. The yeah, 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 yeah. And, um, saves his dad from going to jail. And then, um, he calls Bruce Wayne. And he thinks it's Ben Affleck, Bruce Wayne, because that's what we got at the start of the movie. But it turns out it's, um, he gets out of the car and it's George Clooney. The bat nips. Yeah. Even though he's not actually, it's just Bruce Wayne. So there were no bat nipples, you couldn't see the nips. Yeah. And I told Toby this earlier, they, before George Clooney, they wanted um, Christian Bale yes. to hop out of that car. And he politely declined. Yeah. And what was your reasoning why you are glad that didn't happen? Yeah. Um, I would have been hyped in the moment. Yeah. If I saw Christian Bale. But then you think about it. Because I love that man. Yeah. But then you got to think about it, right? Um, the Dark Knight trilogy is like its own thing. The best trilogy in film history, and um, that's a shout. That's a big it is. shout. Okay, um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. And um, anything content related to mm-hmm. that should just be untouched and shouldn't be in any sequels or mm. prequels or rebooticals. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> rebooticals. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I think George Clooney over Christian Bale is probably a good choice. Yeah, you just want to keep it its own thing. You don't want to touch that anymore. You don't want to... It's a dark night. It would be very um, disrespectful. Yeah. Especially, like, it's weird as well. It's like, imagine they... Imagine this, like, you get something like that and then they CGI Heath Ledger's Joker. Oh, my God. Imagine that. Oh, jeez. That would cause a revolt. (laughs) Oh, my God. That would be in poor taste. Yeah. A very, very poor taste. That's what I was talking about, like, CGIing dead people. I just don't think it's probably appropriate. Yeah, but... I mean, Actually, you're see CGIing a dead Oscar winner who's played the best Joker and done ever. Like, and like really young as well. Yeah. But like they did actually think about it. They did do it for, unless it's like absolutely crucial. Mm. You die like midway f- filming like Paul Walker. Yeah. Like well, well, they seven. just used his brother. Didn't they also do that in Star Wars? Just, he has CGI'd. a twin. No, he had a twin brother. Yeah. It's not his twin brother. Um, well, they look pretty similar. Yeah, because it's CGI. It's a, shit. it's a CGI face. Have you seen his brother in real life? I know, but still, it's CGIing someone that's died. But it's not heavily CGI. Am it I confused? Did they not? Did they, they did that in Star Wars, right? Oh yeah, they did it from um, in Rogue Carrie, One. Carrie Fisher. 
and yeah, Carrie Fisher, Carrie Fisher, and um, the Admiral. The yes, guy. that. Yeah. Yeah, but he died that didn't him. actually look that bad, to be honest. Yeah, it was all right, but yeah, um, yeah. Is Interesting. that uh, that's all the cameos? I think. Yeah, I I've, don't really have any notes. I just look at. And also shout to um Boba Fett, the dude from um, dude who plays Boba Fett, the New Zealand. Guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in. Nope. It nope. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. He's in it for ten seconds as Arthur Curry's dad, Aquaman. Aquaman. Yeah. Um, that was a shout. That was a random shout. Didn't expect that. Um, yeah, he's like, is your wife um the queen of Atlantis? Queen of <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on the couch like a cat lady or something. Yeah. yeah. That but was random, but yeah. I'll take it. I, I think for me to sum it all up, um, if they had more time, even though they... More, even, more money. More, more money. Or they more, spent like 200 to yeah, $225 million. Yeah, or they've almost made it back. No, they haven't. Two hundred nine million box you office you so far. Double your budget, remember? Yeah, That's true. Marketing. Yeah, but overall, to sum it up, I would say that it's one of best the one of so the better DC so films. You say that? No, no, you no. Give no. It a two star yeah, but have you seen all the other films I've given the The Suicide the Squad, uh, Snyder Cut? That was good movies. Um, Wonder Woman. Um, Are you saying the first Wonder one? <sighs> that was a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. That's pretty much it. But yeah, oh, Man of Steel, Man of Steel. Um, Everyone's hating on Man of Steel recently for some reason. I don't really? know why. I've seen it a couple it's times. It's solid, well made. It I has, think it's it really has good. Really bad flaws. Like I think the lowest line don't care at all. Mm. But um, the fighting scenes are dope. So let's do like an overall review. Yeah, the score I mean, get the ranking. had a bit of a technical difficulty there. I mean, oh, what's yeah. what's new? Yeah, we're we're filming. Lovely. Um, yeah, I summed it up before. Yeah. Like it's great. Don't get me wrong, one of DC's better movies in a while. It's great. Compared. Two stars, in great. In comparison, in comparison. Two stars, great. Yeah, that two stars, sense. great. In comparison. But the CGI really lets it down. Mm. Extremely. Because if you, okay, if you rely on a movie with, if you rely on CGI for the whole movie, basically, mm-hmm. you need to put time into it. Yeah. So, and I feel like they did, but then they didn't. Yeah. Would you so. recommend someone see this? Yeah. You would? Yeah, of course I would. I feel like any movie I watch, I recommend. It. Really? Like I recommended Morbius to a lot of people, just to be like watch it and yeah. see how shit it is. Well, what about like Thor: Love and Thunder? I would. I actually didn't recommend that. Twenty one. Never recommend that. To yeah, anyone. but overall, I would give it a. If we're doing the two five, two, yeah. I give it a five, five six six. I'll give it a six. Yeah, so you could up it to three stars, Harry. Yeah, six out of ten. I'll give it a solid seven point four. Yeah. Um. I had a good time watching it, especially the first time watching it. Um, I laughed quite a bit, to be honest. Mm. Even though the humor was like very, a little bit childish. Yeah. There's some jokes, I was like, oh, that's funny. Like even the <laughs> the first time watching There's it. Co- the, yeah, chemistry was good. The first time watching it, you know that baby scene? Yeah. I just knew the CGI was, CGI was bad, but I was still laughing like the entire time because it just looks so dumb. Yeah. Yeah, um, and you can't be like, yeah, I loved it because I was just laughing at it, not with like it. Embracing the goofiness, I think. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So and seven, seven point four. All the performances are good. Yeah. Well directed. Um, way better than any Marvel movie recently, mm-hmm. except for Guardians, and um, and Spider Verse. If you can count yeah. that as a Marvel in association with. And I don't think, even though it's losing heaps of money, I don't think it deserves that. No. And um, yeah, I had a good time watching it. Great. Okay. Yeah. Now we're gonna do a DC ranking. Yes, we're gonna be. DC. We might speed through it a little bit. Yeah. Um, we'll give, so the, give it to Xavier It's all the DC live action films mm-hmm. So even like the Dark Knight and whatever mm-hmm. oh wait, Yeah um, Even the random ones like Constantine Yeah God, And the one with it. Shaq Yeah uh, I actually saw that Steel Yeah Terrible movie <laughs> <laughs> Alright so This is all you man like See you, 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 you complain that we can't hear you right But you're mumbling <laughs> Um, yep, it yeah. is now. So what do we have first? Make uh, sure you can actually see it all, you know what I mean? Like the whole... And what are the tiers, Avial? Yeah. Um, we've got Not Seen, Terrible, Bad, Okay, Good, Great, and Masterpiece. We're pretty much already prepared. Oh, did, did you that. do I that? I didn't do that. Oh, I was already there. Shit. Um, do we want to start from the top? Yeah, yeah. go on. Okay. Superman and the Mole Men. I haven't never seen it. I've never <laughs> seen that. <laughs> That's an old one, isn't it? Um, yeah, very old. And then we got Batman 66. Haven't seen. 
probably never will see. Yeah. And then we got the first Superman movie. Good I movie. would go good. Yeah. Good. I haven't seen it in a long time. Yeah. I kind of need to see the teaser. This is weird. Yeah, I know. Can you like spin it so we can see it as well? Probably the best no, thing. Toby can't see it. Oh, Just fine. spin it so you. So he's gonna do it like backwards. yeah, backwards. Yeah, he can do it backwards. <laughs> it's like a presentation. I can't even fucking read that now. <laughs> What's that was? Superman two. Superman two. Uh, this was touch screen. Is, is it a touch screen? Oh, fuck this, brother. Just read it out, brother. The audience can see it. Superman two isn't that? That's the one where he. Wait. No, it's the first one where he flies around. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've seen the second one, but I can't remember what it is. I haven't seen any of the sequels. I'd go okay. 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 How's it going to work with um, um the camera recording us? We'll just do two separate on the sides. Oh. And then we have... I've figured it all out. Superman. I've figured it out. Superman 3? Haven't seen. Haven't seen that one, no. And apparently the fourth one's terrible. Mm. And the next one's Superman 4? Haven't Best seen. Of peace. Um, have you seen I've it? I've seen though? like scenes from it. It looks absolutely awful. Okay, we'll put uh, it in. Are you putting that in terrible or not seen? Superman 4. Terrible. Terrible. Okay, I'll agree. So objectively, it's probably terrible. Yeah. Um, okay. What do we got? Supergirl. I didn't even know there was a. I haven't seen. I haven't she seen was it. in the Flash. She was. Flash. Yeah, she was in it. Yeah. The that was Matt. Not Matt. Oh. Um, Christopher Reeves. Christopher Reeves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where are you putting that? Not seen. I haven't seen it. Not seen. And then we have when I saw it in the Flash, I was like, oh, that's nice. Oh. That's okay, we have good. Batman. Yeah, yeah. The first one with Michael Keaton. Solid, good movie. Good. Good. Oh, great. great. No, great. No, great. No, 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 Jack no, no. Nicholson. He's a great performer and a great performance, but I still like <coughs> on rewatch, I feel like that movie would just be a good. Wait, movie. what's below from great, good? You got great, good, okay, bad, terrible, not seen, good. And then yeah, the top good. good. Yeah, good, good, good. Okay. And then you got Batman Returns. That's the one with Michelle, Michelle Pfeiffer, Pfeiffer, Danny Pfeiffer DeVito. And Danny DeVito. I feel like that could be okay. 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 Yeah. I was listening to an interview Danny DeVito was talking about playing the penguin he said it was like one of the best things he's ever done in the penguin was weird in that movie he's like <coughs> some like weird mole man eating fish yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. i mean he, he stayed true to the character that's what's what the character is though yeah like a man that lives under like in the su- in the sewers and yeah it's a bit too does literal. he though yeah a little bit i prefer just the batman penguin oh yeah of course right, but a natural character it's a it's an older movie so they'd feel like you know it's, it's more comic it's, accurate yeah more like literal. A lot, a lot of the older movies were comic accurate. Yeah, just because that's all they could really go off. Yeah, they couldn't really, you know, take off other movies because they were the first of its kind. Yep. So, Thanks. yeah. So, um, next we are, next up we have Batman Forever, where um Jim Carrey is the Riddler. Trash, unfortunately. <sighs> I wouldn't say terrible, but trash. So bad? bad. Would you say bad? bad. What, bad. what would yeah. you say? It's a bad movie with, with Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. Yeah. Yeah. Bad. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. And um. D- disassociate Tommy, dis- Tommy Lee Jones Tommy Lee Jones uh, Two-Face, Two-Face yeah. Disassociate any It was two childhood memories You have yeah. to the movie no nostalgia. And just rank it as no the movie nostalgia Bad movie oh, There's so much nostalgia With that movie though. Bad yeah bad <laughs> okay uh, Batman and bad. Robin Terrible <laughs> Terrible <laughs> Terrible, <laughs> Terrible. Bat Terrible. nips The bat nips The bat card The bat ass. Will Smith wouldn't be happy With that bat one nips are iconic Because that's his like Favourite One of his favourite Batman really? movies Because yeah Do you remember when he was in And he's like That's just my childhood man That's an L Mm. <laughs> uh, Catwoman Oh the Halle With Berry Halle Berry one, one. Yeah. Fucking Absolutely yeah, terrible, awful terrible. I actually watched that movie Terrible, terrible. Absolutely awful Terrible, terrible. Did you um, see like, the scenes of them playing basketball? Like, do you remember that bit? It's filmed like a I watched it when I was little It was okay. like a music video filmed in the 2000s That's what it felt like And just <laughs> It was so bad Yeah Yeah uh, Swamp Thing Haven't seen it The TV show? No the Like the really movie. old one It's like yeah. It's like cartoon that's what the poster is almost. Yeah. 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 It, haven't seen it. Yeah. I could show it to you if you want. No, no I, right. I know what I've seen. Never will see And then there's the return of Swamp Thing. I haven't seen I haven't it. Seen it. Either, but they did make a TV show out of yeah. it. Yeah. I watched the first episode. Yeah. It's actually good. Uh, v for Vendetta. Fucking great. We're going great. Really? We're going great. I'm going to go good. I didn't. I think because we study in English, I think that could have put it down. Pulls it down. Well, I'm not. I'm just ignoring that. The first time I watched it in like year seven. Like before we studied it, I really, really enjoyed it. What did you great? Are you putting in great or good? I'm great. I think it's a great. Good. So Xavier, make it. I make haven't seen it, so great. It's got okay. Backs to back me up. It's okay. Eight point two on IMDb. That's a great movie. Oh, uh, okay. But I've yeah. Okay, you I'll, know, I'll, I'll I'll let you have this. You'll one let Toby have this one, and then yeah, if there's be, another beca- undecided. The only one, reason you can have is because school ruined it for me. Yeah. That's the only That's reason I'm letting like this it. one slide. Yeah. But objectively, if you didn't yeah. study, it's actually a great movie. Yeah. Okay, 
Constantine with a uh, Ice Reeves. Haven't seen it. Seen Surprisingly, it. I haven't seen, seen that one. I haven't. I haven't seen Constantine. We're not cultured. Ouch. We're not proper film. Uh, I've seen it come up in my Netflix recommended a few times. Yes, like yeah. Yeah. all the time. It comes up it. all the uh, time. Now we get into a few heavy hitters. Go okay, yeah. We got Batman Begins. Good. Great. Great. <laughs> Great. I don't oh, know. Zane, no. Okay. I'm going to say good because, you know, it's the first one and it's the least best. It is the least best. Okay, they're all still an they're amazing they're movie. The scenes of him training is absolutely like perfection. It's the best origin story of Batman ever. Yeah, he <sighs> does He does pose a very good point. There. Look, man, yeah. it's just... Name a better <laughs> origin story. Spider-Man? No, of Batman. Oh, um... There isn't one. Yeah. But, for oh, dude, it's not the best, so you can't put them all in great. He's not. I'm not. There's One, one of them's great. going in Masterpiece, yeah, 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 and the other one will um, oh, probably go in... No, my put put self. the put the Batman Begins in good. I'd no, go Batman Begins. Then we can go one, two, no, I'd three. I'd go good Dark Knight right. masterpiece. Yeah, well, and then no, don't spoil it. That's yeah. what I would do. Don't spoil the damn thing. Well, okay, if I, Batman Begins is a great movie. Please just put it there. Okay, I'll, oh, I'll, I love that. I'll movie. go great. I'll go. <laughs> we're not, we're not no, beating no, you on no, this. No, it's go, his favorite yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Um, the Dark Knight masterpiece. Do we Rash. do we even need to? <laughs> <laughs> no masterpiece? Obviously, we we've talked about it so, so much. Yeah, time yeah, time. yeah, yeah. We don't. Need um, yeah. The Dark Knight Rises, great. I would put it my bias self because it, you'd it's say masterpiece, not, wouldn't not a you? Masterpiece, but you would. But I would say masterpiece. Yeah, so uh, great, great. I'd go great. Like it has so much plot holes, but I don't care. Yeah, I just it's, love it. It's great. Yeah. Um, next up, we have Watchmen. I, I think it's good. Good. Yeah. Good. I haven't seen it. My favorite either. line from that is when he's in the prison, and he's like, "Yeah, you're not in here with." He's like. I'm not in here with you. You're in here with me. The little children guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I do think that movie has like a lot of flaws. Right? Yeah, it's. I like, remember the the sex scene of Hallelujah. Yeah, I was, like, was. Yeah, I watched this movie with my dad. <laughs> 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 it just kept going. I need to. I need to do a rewatch on that one. Actually, it's an interesting, unique. It's movie. a concept. It's a. Yeah. It's a concept. Yeah. It's a. I like it. Yeah. And then they came out with the TV show. Have you seen the TV yeah. show? Really good TV show as mm. well. Better than the movie, you'd say? Yeah, I would say so. I haven't even seen the TV show. So, yeah. uh, so next up we have Jonah Hex. Is that the I cowboy seen, one? But it's the yep. Josh Brolin cowboy yeah, movie yeah, and yeah. looks absolutely terrible. Yeah. So just put terrible. I feel like if you're going to make like a superhero cowboy, it's a little bit... Mm. Now, now no. this this next one, this is a good one. This is a real good one. We have Green Lantern. Do you want to check the time? Yeah, see if one. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm, I'm Green Lantern. You're on it? You're on it? On it? Okay. Overhated okay. movie. Who said this? Who? I think we all did. No, no, no. Did you say that in the hot takes? You said that was me. The yeah. Green Lantern's not actually that bad. That was me. But I would still put him bad. <laughs> I'd put it. I'd put it. <laughs> yeah, put him bad. I'd put it in okay, but actually okay. It's your yeah, podcast. Okay. It's not mine. Wait, so it's great, good, okay, bad, terrible. Yeah. Yeah, like it's not. Terrible. And in okay, okay. You got, I'm gonna say okay. But everyone says it's terrible, so I would say go one above that and go bad. No, I'd go okay. Do you think? But in saying that, do you think it's on the same level as Batman Returns? Honestly, it's pretty like I would take it entertaining wise. I would take Batman. it over. Uh, I'd say it's in. The I would take it over. Okay, that. fine. We'll go. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Put it in. Okay. Okay. Uh, Superman Returns. I actually haven't seen. That. Oh, okay. No. Good. What, good. What's it like? I can't. I, I just. Also, I've it's the dude from Scott Pilgrim playing Superman. You know the dude with yeah. the guitar. Yeah. 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 Actually, no. Okay. 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 Like, hold up. I actually don't know. No, it does. No. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't. Mm. Yeah. Subpar. Mm. It's just not the same. You know, I, I clearly not without Christopher Reeves. It's like no one ever talks about that movie. Superman Returns. It's been a lot on TV. Like there's mm. been a lot of it on TV. Like they yeah. usually do like the four week thing where they play all like yeah, the classic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go. yeah, yeah. Um, Man of Steel. Good. Not great. Good. Oh, it's, it's it I always I always bring this up. If there was a tier between the good and the great, yeah, yeah, it'd yeah. be in there. It should be great, but it's not. It's good. Mm. I want it to be great, but it's good. <sighs> Objectively, it's a good movie, not a great movie. I just liked how they made it a little bit darker. It is really dark. I enjoyed that bit. Yeah. I enjoy. I think the first like twenty minutes is really really good of like him escaping Krypton mm. with Russell Crowe mm. and Michael Shannon's a legend. But just so many like. Wait, someone I was I don't know if I told it. Why did he not save his dad again? 
Oh, because then people know he was Superman from yeah. the tornado. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was the right concept. Was a bit. Iffy. Yeah, it was a bit iffy for me. Yeah. That. Yeah. So good. 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 Not great. good. Yeah. Okay. Just now that I've rethought about that. Um, yeah. Batman versus Superman. <laughs> terrible. Bad. Not terrible. Bad. Terrible. Yeah, actually, a few months ago. Dude. Dude, dude. Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor is so shit. Oh yeah, I hate that. I agree. Oh. Um, but I actually recently, a few months ago. I watched Batman vs Superman: The Ultimate Edition. That is that next. is actually the that next is, one, isn't that it? That is the next one. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. So you put in terrible. Then. Terrible. Yeah. And then you put. I put that. Th- in okay. Th- okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because it actually wasn't that. So mm. yeah. And then the next one, Batman Superman. Yeah. Ultimate okay. Okay. Then okay. And then it goes that, just like three hours and a bit. Yeah. Which felt a bit long. But a bit. One thing I'll give Batman vs Superman outside like. The Martha thing was absolutely awful. Mm. You know, them having the same mum. Oh, like, that was fucking that's stupid. That's probably the worst plot ever. Um, but the action scenes are really good. That's what I liked. Mm. They're well made. Zack Snyder can direct a good action scene. And the fight between Batman and Superman is actually pretty good. I enjoyed that. The one where he gets the spear? Is that that bit? Doesn't like Batman... like a warehouse building. Yeah. 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 Um, Suicide Squad. First one. First one. First one. Honestly? Good. No. Not good. No, okay. Will okay. Smith, okay. Jared Leto. Yeah, okay. Okay. Actually, Jared Leto, fuck you. <laughs> you put it down so much. I think <laughs> this movie gets so much hate. It does. But it's actually, and I've seen it so many times, mm. I feel like. The f- when it came out, I watched it like 10 times. Yeah. With so many people. Why. Yeah. <laughs> it was odd. It had lots of hype behind it. Because it was on everything, like yeah. straight away. Yeah. Um. This is an overhated movie. Like, I feel like there's so much bad shit. And so mm. much, like the villain's terrible. But um, it's actually a really entertaining movie. I it's think. an odd casting as well. I th- yeah, it is an odd casting. I'm um, t- um, Cara Delevingne. Yeah, but I mm. think like Will Smith, and Margot Robbie are like really entertaining. Oh yeah, the other we all we all loved we all love that. I'm big movie. up Jai Courtney. I, I like Jai Courtney just yeah. as a you know fellow whopper whopper yeah, person. Yeah, 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 you got to respect a man. Yeah. So where do you want to where 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 are you putting okay, it? Suicide it's Squad. He's still. I'd okay. Go near okay, near bad. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Wonder Woman. Okay. Probably You're gonna say, say good, good, but yeah. if I rewatched, I feel like I'd okay. Say okay. Okay. Yeah. Because okay. I remember the one thing I really didn't like was the villain at the end, the god who like comes out of nowhere. Yeah. Who was the villain in the second one? Kristen Wiig as oh, that was, if we why as cheater? We'll yeah. yeah. The che- oh. we'll talk about that. Um. Bruv. Next up, Justice League. Um, terrible, absolutely awful. This is the first one. Yeah, yeah, I'd go terrible. Oh, I'd go okay, but it's terrible. No, yeah, it's terrible. terrible. Yeah, terrible. Um, Aquaman. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's a lot of okay. Most, it's a lot of mid okay. okay movies in this. This is DC. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Shazam. Okay. The first one is actually good. Okay. For I, me. I'm gonna say good. I personally put it a good. I didn't mind it. Good. I just think it's a really like it's entertaining. It's different. It's a cute. Movie. It's just different. It's an it's a whole new thing. You know what I mean? Like no one's really. Mm. There's no older versions of Shazam. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but so it's the whole new thing, and it just uh, the one thing that like I rewatched it that I absolutely hated was. I'm the, not saying it like, but was the mm. the ending where they all have the powers. Like yeah, that was a bit that was shit. Terrible. Yeah, I did not like. That. But I'm not saying it's like the greatest thing. But like, surely you just put it in good. Like, <laughs> Go we need to, we need something else in good. We can't have everything in okay and terrible. It sums up DC. Um, yeah, Joker, gone amazing masterpiece. Masterpiece. Yeah, masterpiece. I would have thought so. Masterpiece. Put it behind the Dark Knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark Knight at the front. What do you think of Joker's Andy? <laughs> I, I just thought it, was, it. thought it was really good And it just really spoke volumes About yeah. society well, as a whole uh, One thing <laughs> I, A teacher said this to me the other day Right uh, More specifically about Joaquin Phoenix He Like the characters for example TV shows They don't know they're being filmed Right mm. Char- That's that's what you want to strive for And I think mm. Joaquin Phoenix does it best yeah. Because He experiments And he just doesn't care Gets into it Exactly Like the, the shit he put himself through for the weight Joker, loss. the weight loss, yeah. Yeah, even just like the, oh, I'm not going to say choreography, but the movement of him. The se- laugh. The laugh. How he just fucking randomly punches the shit out of a clock for no reason. Yeah. He's like, you got to punch out. And he's like, oh, I'll do it. And then he like just fucking beats it. And that wasn't even scripted. Yeah. So. Yeah, I love Sammy that part. That bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Birds of Prey. Ah, uh, I, I haven't seen that. Yeah, that's not that good. Terrible, please. 
I watched uh, half and I was like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. So Wonder Woman 84. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> One of the worst movies. Kristen Wiig getting cast as that is not right at all. I, yeah. I, I do would, not agree. Yeah. She's a comedy yeah. actor. Like, it Agreed. just didn't make sense at all. She had, yeah. doesn't have that menacing sort of look about her, the way she acts. It's not yeah. menacing. I love Kristen Wiig, don't get me wrong, I in a good um, comedy, but I thought Pedro this. Pascal was a right. Yeah. He was the one thing I liked in that movie. Everything else. He was in that? Yeah, he was the villain. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, I know that. but still a terrible movie, though. Mm. I spent $27 on that movie <laughs> this one? before I was working. Oh, yeah. damn. It's an L. Um, okay. <laughs> Justice League, the Schneider Cup. Good. Right. I'm going to go good. It's just too long. I'm going good. I actually, my dad was watching like two days ago. I just watched it with him. Mm. And it's actually like held up pretty well. Really I'm going to go it. good though. Let's go great. Like your, Would great. you? I enjoyed it. More yes. than more than the other. More than the other one. Whatever. Okay. Well, well, it's Xavier gets it if we, That's good. we don't get to. Um, Suicide Squad. The new one. Great. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Could Honestly, oh. could, it could make Masterpiece if like. Yeah, great. But it's just a great somewhere mm. in between that. Yeah. Did we do a review on that? No, we didn't. It came out before the podcast came out, yep. August 2021. Really? I'll only accept sure. one answer for this next one: the Batman masterpiece. Masterpiece. Very but good. easy. I think it's in the middle of it's Joker it, and Dark Knight. Yeah, I agree. It's better than Joker. Yeah. Even though it's not a masterpiece, because there are some things that can prove it's still a masterpiece. Yeah. I mean, compared to the rest of the yeah. shit we've got on this mm, list. Exactly. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, Black Adam. Terrible. It's yeah, so have you seen it? Yeah, it's so boring. It is so boring. boring. What do you not. mean? It is that so the boring. I'd give it. It's entertaining. Nah, it's boring it's as well. It's just okay Dwayne Johnson just being Dwayne Johnson. It's yeah. not even like Come on. I, I haven't seen this. You There's guys no are ability. Fight this out. Okay, like seeing any superhero, any character just killing people, punching shit, flying around. That's entertaining to watch. I think. Yeah. And he's like so stale. Put it in okay. Not interesting. Okay. It's okay. Okay. And um, last but certainly not least for this list, we have Shazam Fury of the Gods. Oh. Terrible. Bad. Bad or terrible? No, you Ter- go terrible. I didn't really like it at all. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, go bad. Okay. Terrible. Go bad. And then the Flash. We've got the Flash as well to do. Flash. Flash. Good. Good. Just imagine. Did you, did you read... It? Tell me that was recording. Yes, it's all recorded. Okay, yes. good. So, would you like to have a look at your tier list? Okay. Yes, let's have a look. Imagine flat. Oh, that's actually a pretty like, <laughs> pretty even, pretty even tier list to be honest. The top three is definitely in. like nothing's too. It's all pretty spread out evenly. Yeah. yeah, I think. I like this list. This is a good list. I like it. Okay, but we've only got three in the masterpiece, which they are all warranted. Perfect, yeah, there's only three. Can Honestly, be. I would put yeah. the Dark Knight Rises in. Masterpiece. Masterpiece, maybe, now that I'm looking at it. Well, then you can, it's such a good you can move it around, you can do, you know? Yeah. You know what? Door, Dark Knight Rises door. is probably at the bottom of the Masterpieces, though. Yeah, definitely. But it's going to oh, be in Masterpiece. Masterpiece take, is the... Joke, would you? Yeah. Masterpiece is the Actually, only one Actually, yeah, I might as well. It's a bit Masterpiece more Masterpiece is the only one that I've yeah. probably ordered. The other ones are just yeah, randomly put in there. Cool. Um, that's the list. That's the list. Jeez, like, like, the like, we've seen a lot, but... I know. Like... It's just basically the old ones yeah. and Constantine. I think we should see Constantine. Yeah, I, I should probably that's watch that. Else. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Yeah, that's our DC film list. It's a quite a long episode, an hour three. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming on, Zave. Yeah. Let no us know what you think about no this. No place I'd rather be. Yeah. yeah. This is the place to be on a Tuesday Arvo. Tuesday. Amen to that. Tuesday Arvo. Yeah. Um, but thank you if you've made it this far. I mean... Not a lot of people do. Our average watch time is like six minutes. Yeah. Um, to be wow. fair, that's me as well, though. Like, I hop on with two minutes and it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> like, God, like, you can't <laughs> say that. I think they're the most entertaining videos on YouTube right now. What, what? podcast? Yeah. The Dead Film Society. I'm going to take that to my Good grave. Why? you got to rep, Toby. you got to rep. you got to no, rep I'm your just, brand, man. I'm giving you what's the reasons why. you got to give me evidence. The editing. It's really good. Oh, yeah. The conversation, we're getting better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you compare it to the first maybe five episodes we did. The compared first episode to in com- particular. No, more so the James Bond episode. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah that was when we just like went on for like forever. Yeah. Even though it goes to 29 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the Harry Potter one was really shit as well. That was, oh, which that is was dis- the worst Which one. is really disappointing because... I feel like they could have been good. 
You should it redo so that. much better. I think you could redo we it. Can't. We can't. Mm. Oh, we can't. Yeah, we can't. We could. I think could. we can't. Yeah. Yeah. I don't timeline, we would have done a better one. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think the um. What was it? The Secrets of Dumbledore. Oh, I think how no. shit that movie was. Let you got yeah, had you guys in a sour mood yeah, for and that podcast. Plus reviewing it straight away. Yeah. It didn't give us time to really, you know, yeah. marinate our thoughts. You know. Yeah. yeah, I feel like you. I was actually in that one, wasn't I? Yeah. yeah. I feel like we were more concerned about the reviewing the the Secrets. Of Dumbledore, whatever it is, then yeah, yeah, Harry Potter. I mean, this is about to die anyway, so we've actually done perfect timing. Yes. So we're going to wrap it up, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe if you already happen. It really uh, helps us out a lot. Make sure if you don't, uh, you know, like to watch YouTube, listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, um, all that good Spotify, stuff. all that good stuff. All that. <laughs> no, I didn't say it in the correct order. Um, I usually say Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. Thank you again, Xavier, for coming on. It's no worry, guys. It's my pleasure, you know. And just helping out the team. Yeah. yeah. And we might go watch um, Indiana Jones tomorrow if Toby doesn't, you know, get our... Uh, yeah, because Indiana Jones has a whip. Yep. Oh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you and uh, see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.